If you are looking for somewhere to go to get some information on a hot penny stock for free, you found it. I'm John Zadar. This is On Top and Hot, and it's Wednesday, March 13th. Which means I've got a live streaming event tomorrow. Do this every Thursday, 4 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. If you have a ticker that you want us to take a look at, come on in. That's why we're there. We're there for about an hour, hour and a half taking requests. But to be completely fair with you, if you come to the show and drop in a ticker, chances are I'm never going to get to it. You see, I put up a placeholder for this video early so everyone knows it's going to happen. And you can drop your tickers in then. And I do play by the rule, first come, first serve. So by the time 4 o'clock rolls around, I've already got a bunch of tickers queued up. So I never really get to the ones dropped down during the show. I apologize for that. But now you've got a heads up. If you really want your ticker looked at, get it in the queue early before the show starts. That's 4 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, Thursday, every Thursday. So as I said, what I like to do here is just share my own personal due diligence with you on a hot penny stock. I am always looking for a stock under 5 bucks that has potential to make us money. And you can find those on every single market. Well, I found one today. Actually, I found it yesterday, to be completely honest. And I noticed it because of the news. They had news come out. They had just hit a milestone with one of their products. Well, that was great. So I went and checked the chart. Yeah, nothing really special there. She's been going sideways with a lot of rolls, bouncing off of a very strong support for a very long time. She is in position to do something, but she needs a catalyst. Well, the news is a catalyst, but I was looking around for more, and boy, did I find the jackpot. I found the gold mine. Revenues. Oh my God, folks, the revenues are exploding. This company is under the radar. In 2021, they were doing $700,000 worth of business. 2022, they went 10 times up, 1,000% to 7 million. And this last year, 2023, they say they're going to hit 70 million. Another 10 times revenue increase. That's what caught my attention. And her financials are just about ready to come out. I think it's a good time to be looking at this. So we're looking at Starco Brands, ticker STCB. She finished today just a little over 12 cents, and she was up about 1.5%. Now, she is on the OTC. She's on the middle tier. This is the QB, but we like to call it the better tier because it's better than the pinks. The pinks don't give you any validated information. You get information, you get news presses, you get financials, but none of it is validated. It's just information being passed off to you by the management. We take management's word for everything with pinks. Well, on the QB, you have to have your financials audited. We've got a CPA going through those. Those are actual factual numbers we can trust. Those are fundamentals. We can now weigh the company up. Are they doing good or bad? Plus, on the QB, you have to have a minimum price of one cent. Speaking of verified, we've got verified profile and a verified transfer agent. So we've got validated information and validated numbers. This company's looking pretty good in that regard. So what is Starco Brands about? Well, starting here, they tell us that Starco Brands is a consumer products goods company whose mission is to create behavior-changing products and brands. Very curious. Our core competency is inventing, marketing, and distribution. Our main verticals and products are in the household sector, personal care, sun care, food, spirits, do-it-yourself, hardware, and automotive. And our distribution is through both brick and mortar and online. And we're talking the biggest corporations in brick and mortar and online. Jumping over to their website, we get more information over here. And it was a good thing I did jump over here because I had a misconception of the company. I thought they only had basically two products. Boy, was I wrong. We're looking at a few of their products here, so you got an idea of the flavor that they're working with. We have Winona Pure here. This is a theater popcorn spray. During COVID, people couldn't go to the movies. They were missing their theater popcorn. So they came out with this spray. And from what I can gather, it's not butter that you're just spraying on. It is the dusting. It is theater popcorn flavor. And the product that is getting the most attention right now and the one I have been reading about is Whip Shots. Whip Shots is a whipped cream that is infused with alcohol. 
Right now, as far as I know, they're only working with vodka, but they may have others, and it comes in a lot of different flavors. Just here recently, they introduced strawberry. They are also into perfumes. They've got this Skylar brand, lots of different essences in the Skylar brand. But what I really like about it is they've got this uh, scent of the month, essence of the month, and you can get a little trial bottle every single month. So you have a variety of essences. I like that. Then we got something for the men. This is called Art of Sport. Art of Sport is a complete line of daily essential body and skincare products made for athletes. Do you think their body and skin is any different? I mean, besides having extra perspiration and maybe odor. Powered by high performance skincare science and fresh scents. And then the last product they share with us here is Soylent. This seems to be some sort of power drink made out of soybeans. It's got all the omegas in it, lots of vitamins, protein, all sorts of stuff. Soylent, the original plant-based food technology company, is on a mission to deliver complete nutrition products that are good for the body and the planet. Now, I get the impression that this site may be a little bit out of date. They tell us here that they just expanded sales into 10 new states, which gives them 36 states that they're now in. Well, we just had news come out here recently that they added three more states, which puts them closer to 40 states, if not more. But what really got me excited was what I read down here. Starco Brands has a sister company called Starco Groups. Starco's ability to identify white space this is an empty area where products are needed. It's vital to our business, and we don't just do it alone. There is power in partnership and family. Our sister company, the Starco Group, provides us with a portfolio of innovative formulas and commercial manufacturing facilities that span 10 consumer product good categories with over 3,000 products. Folks, we just barely touched the surface with what we had up here. And I have no clue what all their products are. But maybe to get a heads up, you may want to jump down here into this categories link and this brands link and see what's going on. So that gives you an idea of what the company is doing right now. What was the relative volume around the company today? Oh, that's disappointing. Oh, <laughs> Jeez, it's like one seventh of her normal volume. She's been under the radar, as I said, down here at 21,000 shares as an average for the last 30 days. Today, she only did 3,000 shares. Out of curiosity, I'm going to refresh this page to see what the volume was on the entire OTC market. It was low today, folks. Total shares was $3.3 billion for the entire OTC market. That is 12,409 companies. They had to divide all those shares up. And I guarantee you, a lot of companies got absolutely nothing today. Share structure for Starco. Outstanding share count, $468 million. I did want to know what the float was for this, so I went diving around and I found this information over here at Google. I put in the word Starco Brands Float Outstanding. This came up. Outstanding share count, 469 million. Our float, 162 million. Now, I realize that's not a low float, but that's a heck of a lot better than being close to a half a billion shares, which also tells you that the insiders own the majority of the shares in this company, which is a good thing. Market cap for the company, we are currently at just about $57 million. Now, let's look at what's exciting. The financials. Lots of potential is hiding over here, folks. Now, keep in mind, we've got to add three zeros to any of the numbers that we see on any of these charts. Looking at 2021, her annual revenues were just under $700,000. One year later, she kicks it up 11 times, 1,100% increase in her revenues, jumping to $7.8 million, and they got to take home a lot of profit from that. Now, looking at her quarterlies, it's only getting better. First quarter of 2023, they exceed the entire annual revenues for 2022 of 7 million. They jumped up to 11.1 million in just three months. The next three months, they kick it up again to 17.5 million, 
And the last quarter we have on the books, September of 2023, they were at 17.6 million. And they're bringing home steady profits all the way along the way. Now they did give us some preliminary numbers. The financials aren't out yet, but they're giving us a peekaboo on what they think they're gonna be. They tell us that net revenue for fiscal year 2023 is expected to increase tenfold to $70 million. Now, this isn't a big surprise to them. They knew it was going to happen. They told us back last year at the beginning of 2023 that they anticipated making anywhere from $66 million to $77 million, and they are right there smack dab in the middle at $70 million. Good job. Now they give us another projection for 2024. They say they're going to be doing about 78 to 82 million, which doesn't sound like a big increase, but that projection is based on what exists right now. God only knows what's going to develop over the year. And as their revenues look like they're going to increase, they'll let us know about that as well. So let's take a look now at that balance sheet. They've got some money in the bank. They got about one and a half million dollars. Total assets, 123 million. Total liabilities, yes, about half, 63, 64 million, which means we do have positive stockholder equity in this company. We are not holding a bag. We got about $60 million. Taking a look at the disclosures for Starco. Well, we don't have any recent filings here. The most recent one is an 8K, and that actually correlates to a piece of news. Uh, that one right there, explosive growth. That's what that one was all about. Now, we are looking at news going back here to the beginning of January, and we really don't have to dive into any of these. The headlines will give you enough information, but you can see their products are getting a lot more attention. They're selling more. They are expanding business. They tell us back here that the company celebrates unprecedented organic growth of Winona Pure popcorn spray. Then at the end of January, the company announces a new limited edition of strawberry whip shots. <laughs> that makes putting whipped cream in your mouth a completely different experience now. At the beginning of February, they uh, unveiled a new essence called Boardwalk Delight Hair and Body Mist. At the end of February, they tell us they expanded into three more states, Maine, Mississippi, and New Hampshire. So they're probably closer to 40 states now. And the big news that came out uh, yesterday, Whip Shots tops the charts with 5 million cans sold. And there's really no reason to look at the news because there's no more than that on it. The fact is, is that their products are selling. They're making money. You can see the money coming in. It is steadily growing. That is under the radar. Now their financials are about to come out and everybody's gonna know what their financial status is. And the way the chart is sitting right now, I think it's just been dozing, waiting for a big piece of wood to set on fire. And I think this could be it, folks. Let's go take a look at that chart now. So we're gonna analyze Starco Brands on my free trading platform, Think or Swim. We've got this opened up to a one-day, one-year chart for ticker STCB. We have a 52-week low here in July of 11 and a half cents. And at the beginning of January, we hit our 52-week high of 20 cents. Now, six months ago, that 200-day SMA was falling hard and fast. And then right here, we had this big jump showing a lot of incentive, telling me that the stock wants to climb. It's just looking for an opportunity. Well, what would that opportunity be? How about a level 200-day SMA when it goes flat? Well, look what happened. Soon as that 200-day SMA went flat, she broke out. She jumped here from 13 cents up to 20 cents before barreling back down to 12 cents, which she has been bouncing off of a lot over the last year. This is a very, very strong support that she is sitting on right now. Let's jump on down to our six month, four hour view. Well, you can see six months ago, she was sitting on that support. And right now she is sitting on that support. We did have a jump off of this low bubble up about 40% up to 18 cents. Then we had another jump here that went up about 40% as well. She came down underneath the 200, was trying to hang on, but couldn't do it. And she's landed perfectly on our strong support here. Volume isn't anything to talk about. It's just ho-hum right now. 
and our oscillators aren't looking much better on our four hour chart. They are all going downhill right now as well. Take a look at our 20 day, one hour view. Whew. It's actually in a downtrend right now, isn't it? You can see our 50 day SMA is falling. Our 20 day SMA is falling. We had a big bounce here breaking through the 50, which could tell me she's looking for a breakout. She's looking for an opportunity. And when would that be? When the 50 day SMA goes flat, which it isn't right now. But again, I repeat, she is on top of this strong support. She has got a lot of money. I think she's under the radar and I think she's going to get on the radar and start blipping when her financials come out. Oscillators, not looking a whole lot better on our one hour chart. Our PPO percentage price oscillator is still falling underneath the pink line. Same thing going on with our MACD. Believe it or not, our RSI is climbing ever so slowly, but it is in the cold zone. It's down there at 44. I don't like to see it any less than 55. And our five day, five minute, which I don't think we're going to get much information off of. You can see she is going sideways. Our nine day SMA has come down. She is right up underneath it. Here's our 20 day SMA and that's all we've got. There's no 50, there's no 200 because she has not been trading enough shares to have enough data. Now what normally happens when that 50 day SMA and that 200 day SMA show up, normally in eight out of 10 cases, the price will go to that new SMA. Regardless if that SMA is under the price or over the price, the price will normally go to it. And half the time it'll stay there. The other half, it just tags it and goes back to whatever it was it was doing. Oscillators here, they're a little weak. I mean, they're not as cold as the others, but they're not warm at all. I think it's just set up. It's sleeping right now. When it wakes up, will probably be when those financials come out. When those financials come out, everybody's going to know how much money this company is making. And they're going to compare it to last year. And they're going to see this is a 10 times increase. That is a catalyst. That's why I'm excited about this company, folks. STCB, it belongs on your watch list. Watch for those financials. But of course, do your own due diligence. I didn't cover everything. We covered maybe five, 10 products, maybe. They've got 3,000 of them. So you got your due diligence cut out for you. Remember, folks, the more you know, the more you're gonna grow. See ya.